Okay, so I'm going to do a gameplay video on this game, Need for Speed on the Sega Saturn. And I was pretty surprised to see a Need for Speed game on the Saturn. I'm sure the series needs no introduction really. Pretty sure there's probably this game or a couple of Need for Speed games on the um, PlayStation. But yeah, I was pretty surprised to see one on the Saturn. And this is the box. As you can see it comes in one of those thick plastic boxes but Generally, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you get one of those crappy cardboard PAL UK boxes of these. So let's get on and uh, see what this is. Okay, so like. again, this is Need for Speed on the Sega Saturn. And yeah, you've got quite a lot of um, options. Well, you ain't got loads, but you've got one player or two player. You can use the um, virtual um, steering wheel or whatever it's called on the Saturn with this. Get, click into one place, so you've got time trial, head to head, single race or tournament. Um, so let's go in single race. Uh, let's pick a good track. You've got, I think you've got about seven tracks in there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about six I think. Uh, city, I'm going to pick a good one, yeah, let's pick the Alpine one, uh, midday, you can choose uh, morning, midday or evening, you can e even view the segments of the, uh, the, of the track between like, you know, the checkpoints and stuff, um, so yeah, Alpine, let's choose that one, and you got a choice, maybe it's seven cars, I don't know, I can't remember what it said on the back of the box, so uh, Ferrari, Toyota, Acura, whatever that is, Mazda, Porsche, Dodge, Corvette, Lamborghini, so there you go, I think I'm going to go with, um, let's go with the Lamborghini, uh, again you can choose automatic or not, I'll show you this little nifty feature you got in there, it's called Car Showcase, now I'll click on that, this is a really nifty feature, I really like this. And you don't, I haven't seen anything like this on any other um, games, so let's go into general. A direct descendant of the sharp-edged Countach that practically coined the term exotic, the Lamborghini Diablo retains the mid-mounted 4-cam V12. And let's try the video because I haven't actually uh, seen this. Nice little showpiece of the uh, Lamborghini there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool feature that. But we want to go for a race, so let's go and race. Okay, so we've got it on automatic, let's go. And we're going to be racing against uh, Nikora NSX. A glance. Uh, that ain't the only car in this race, I don't think. Um, at least I hope not. One thing I would say for this game is that um, a while ago I said that there ain't really any decent racing games on the Sega Saturn. Um, the only decent racing games that I've come across personally, and I have got quite a lot of racing games, is um, Sega Rally and Manix TT Superbike, they're the only two decent racing games on the Saturn. Um, obviously, um, stop beeping me. Obviously, um, Sega Rally is definitely the best, without a shadow of a doubt, the best racing game on the Sega Saturn. Without a shadow of a doubt, oh, flip neck. And um, Manix TT is a close second. The um, thing with Manix TT is I think the um, the controls, you know, the um, the mechanics of the steering of how the bike moves, what moves across the uh, screen and stuff, the handling of the, of the bike basically, just needed just needed a bit more work basically. You know, it just seemed like it needed a couple more months with the developer just to get it right. Um, 
But yeah, I, I've got quite a lot of racing games. I haven't showed all the all the uh, games that I've picked up for the sake of Saturn over the months, and I've got quite a lot of uh, racing games in the Saturn. A lot of them really do fall flat on the face, um, just over stupid things. Um, most of the time, it's just the handling of the cars and stuff like that. Just everything, you know, things just don't come together on the games that much. But this is one game, I have to say, which is actually a bloody good racing game. It's actually a really good racing game. And if you've got um, a Sega Saturn, oh, flipping it. Whoa! Okay, I've never experienced that before. If you've got a Sega Saturn, you owe it to yourself to get Need for Speed on the system. Um, it can range in price, sometimes it can be pretty pricey and other times you can find it really cheap. Uh, let's go into this different view here. That's what I like about this, you've got a cockpit, cockpit view. Call it. I'm going all over the road here. So yeah, that, I mean, graphically it's not as sharp as Manix TT and Sega Rally, I mean graphically those two games are far superior in terms of graphics for all for all the racing games, I don't think I've come across a racing game that's beat those in terms of graphics. Uh, so yeah graphically it's not as good as those two games but I mean it's pretty decent. Um, I'd probably give the graphics about a 7 out of 10. Um, in terms of the car mechanics, um, it really does vary on the car now. Some cars feel really kind of heavy, like the steering and the handling of cars feel really heavy. And others feel heavy but just a touch lighter, if you know what I mean. It really does depend on kind of which car you get. It ain't so massively different that you can uh, tell the difference immediately but there are subtle, subtle changes with each different uh, car in terms of the handling of the vehicle and stuff like that. Uh, the tracks are really varied and uh, really nice and the music's pretty decent. Whoa! That's the end of the race I guess. But yeah this is a, this is a really, I wouldn't put it in that top first spot because obviously nothing's going to knock uh, Sega Rally at that top spot and nothing's going to knock Manix TT at the second place but this is definitely if I was to do a top 10 Need for Speed is definitely in third place without a shadow of doubt, no pun intended but Need for Speed is definitely in um, as well. third where you, the cops can pull you over which obviously if you're trying to get in first place that's going to take a shave like you know, a number of seconds off off um, trying to catch your player up or off the lead basically and I gotta admit it does look really good in this cockpit view and I really like the handling of this Lamborghini as well it's really really good so if you have got a Sega Saturn and you're thinking oh, look, apart from um, say Rally Championship and stuff, there ain't really much out there in terms of racing games and that, and I'd, I'd advise picking this up basically. You will find yourself playing this game. And I think we're coming to the end of the video guys, so thanks for watching.